Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're looking at base daily mechanics. We've made a bunch of videos on this. Go back and check out our other videos if you have not seen them. Uh, base daling and, and proper technique for getting a good jump is something that's debated. But when you watch all the really good base dealers in the big leagues, they all do it pretty similarly. Um, there's a lot of things that are taught that are kind of just been taught for years and years and years. Uh, but when you break it down, they do different things. So that's what I'm tr going to try to explain to you guys. Some of the different things that they do than you've probably heard before. A lot of these things may be new. You may look at them. You know, every time we talk about this, people say, that's a false step. You can't do that. It's a false step. If you watch almost anyone in the major leagues, this is the best way to get in position to move quickly, get in line with second base, and steal a bag. So here's Buxton at first. The guy can absolutely fly. And what you're going to see is, and this is the move you're going to see with pretty much every big league guy, is they're going to get their lead foot back under them, okay? So they're not just going to cross over and this foot going to stay in the same spot. This foot gets under their body, their upper body is going, their lower body, their foot is getting underneath them, okay? Again, this isn't really coached, in my opinion, at the major league level. This is the best way to get your body to move in position quickly, get in position to run. This move is coached out of a lot of players, I, th I feel, because, you know, if you look at it, you think, oh, that's a false step. That's a slow move. So they try to teach you don't move the lead foot, you know, cross over, moves that are slower, that don't put you in position to run. And then you stop doing this because you're kind of coached not to do it. All right. So if you don't do this, now you're going to have to coach yourself back up on how to do it. All right. So lead foot gets underneath upper body mechanics. Lead arm is going to punch back. So it's like taking your elbow and trying to elbow somebody that's standing behind you right in the nose. Whack. Right? Elbows going back. Rear arm is punching across. So rear arm punches across. Lead arm punches back. Elbow into the guy's nose. There you go. Okay, so you're timing this up. Boom. Lead foot gets under. Punch back with the right arm. Cross over with the left arm, punch across, and you're gone. Okay? Again, you may have not heard any of this stuff. may all be totally new. I'm sure someone's going to write in the comments that this is a false step. But I challenge you to look at all the base dealers in the big leagues, and they all do it almost the exact same way. And it helps that he can absolutely fly. Play this a couple times. Maybe we'll give you a slow mo look. Do it to you again. So there it is, guys. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. You can train this really easy. Just work on taking it step by step, punching back with your right arm, crossing over, punching across with your left arm getting your lead foot underneath you. Um, the lead foot part, I probably should have said this. When you get into this position, it's getting you in line with the base. So a lot of times when you cross over this way, you get out of line. You get in here, and then you got to come back this way. All right, so this puts you, boom, in line. It's like getting into a sprinter's box or the block, right? You now look like a sprinter taking off. You obviously can't start like this because you'll get picked off. But it's how quickly can I get into this position to get my body lined up with second base, in line to the back corner of the bag, and now I'm in position to come out of the blocks, boom, and I'm gone. Okay? So let me know if you guys have any questions now um, in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, check us out on our Instagram, Antonelli Baseball, on our Twitter feed, Man Antonelli 9. I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. Um, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of links and stuff for you. And that's all I got. Hopefully this helps you guys out. We'll talk to you later. Good luck.